Welcome to this presentation on solving inequalities with variables on both sides. If you know how to solve equations with variables on both sides, it should be easy. If you don't, you may want to go back and do some review on solving equations. And this is going to involve some multi-step deals here, like number one, we've got this problem I want to distribute. So uh, it's going to kind of encompass everything we've done up until now, which is really kind of fun. So let's get started. We got 20, and we know 20 is less than negative 5 times the quantity of negative 4 plus k. So thinking about PEMDAS, right? This is going to stick with us all year. We're going to deal with our parentheses first. So we're going to take this negative 5 and we're going to distribute it to what's inside our parentheses. So I'm going to do a negative 5 times a negative 4. Then I'm going to do a negative 5 times k. And that's going to look like this. Negative times a negative is a positive, so it would be a positive 20. And a negative times a positive is a negative. So let's go ahead and write down our negative sign so we don't mess that up. And there's an understood or an imaginary 1 here. So 1 times 5 is 5. So we got 5k. So now we're just going to um, isolate the variable, right? Do our inverse operations to to get k all by itself. So the first thing I want to do is subtract 20 from both sides. Well, 20 minus 20 is 0, so I'm just left with the 5k over here. And I just drew that line to help me keep my work straight. And we know that's going to be you know, 20 minus 20 is 0, so we know 0 is smaller than negative 5 times k, right? So we're going to divide both sides by negative 5. The reason we're dividing both sides by negative 5 is because you got negative 5 times k. To undo that operation, you do the inverse, right? The inverse multiplication is division. So negative 5 divided by negative 5 is just 1, or it's k, right? And then 0 divided by negative 5 is 0. But what, what do we do with this inequality? Is, because we've got two options. We can write it this way or this way. Since we divided both sides by a negative number, we got to flip it. So see, it was, since it's originally looking that way, we got to use this version. So we know that 0 is greater than k, right? So that's our endpoint. That's an open dot because there's no equal sign. I want to draw my open dot. Well, if I know 0 is greater than k to figure out which side to just plug in some numbers, right? So, which which is a true statement? Is 0 bigger than 1? That's not a true statement. So, then you got 0. 0 is bigger than negative 1, right? So, negative 1 is here. So this is the area I'm going to shade. Highlight it there for you. All right, so that's that's how we do number one. Let's move on to another example. Let's see. Let's do number six, because that looks kind of hard. People tend to freak out when they see a bunch of numbers, but don't freak out. Rule number one, don't freak out. We can do it. You know, we just think about what we know here, right? Well, we know how to solve equations, and we know PEMDAS. You know, we know how to isolate the variable. We know how to combine like terms, so we know everything that there is to know on this problem. So let's get started with it. You got 31 plus 3n and we know that's going to be less than negative 2n plus 4 times 7n plus 2. What I like to do is I sort of ignore for now. And just forget about this stuff right here and let's tackle this. So we're going to work on this side. So, first thing we want to do is distribute. You always want to distribute first. Just remember that. Just, you know, parentheses, multiplication, all that comes before we're doing this adding of this negative 2n. So, 4 times, that's, and, and, and this is kind of neat because, you know, these are all positives. 
So we don't have to worry about our signs. 4 times 7 is 28 n, because you got n there. 4 times 7 n, you got 28 n's, plus 8. Now we're just left with a 2 n, and now we worked with the parentheses. Now we're just going to combine like terms. Combine like terms here. Well, the only like terms, and you may want to circle your like terms, and the only reason you do this is to make sure that you don't miss any. So when you combine 2, a negative 2, and a positive 28, you get a 26n plus 8. Are there any more like terms or anything else we can do? No. So now we're going to rewrite this stuff. So that's where, I, that's where this came from. Now we'll, there's nothing we can do over here, right? 31 and 3n, they're not like terms, so we can't add or subtract them. So our question now is what side do we want our variable on? Since we like to work with positive coefficients, we're going to subtract 3 from both sides. And I, want to, I meant 3n, right? So all that's left on this side over here is just the 31. And we know 31 is going to be less than... 29n plus 8, right? And now, what, what's next? We want to subtract 8 from both sides. So we got 29 is less than 29n. Divide both sides by 29. And those cancel out, that becomes a 1, so we know 1 is less than or equal to n. To graph it, just do something that makes it true, you know, so, you know, 2, plugging in a 2 makes that true, right? As well as a 3 or a 100, whatever. Any, any number, doesn't matter. So our end point was 1, and we want to include everything bigger and one. And that's how you solve inequalities with variables on both sides. This worksheet's on the website. If you're on YouTube, just click on the link. You can pull up this worksheet. You got about 20 problems to practice. And that's it. Enjoy.